New at 10, a cemetery submerged, graves completely underwater for weeks. But tonight, it's a much different picture at that Northwest Indiana Cemetery. After CBS2 got involved, the water is gone. Now, CBS2's Sarah Molina is asking what's being done to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's pretty clear today, but not too long ago, this area looked like a lake tough for anyone to see, but especially tough for those with loved ones buried here. People who never want to see this area look like that again. Ridgelawn Cemetery almost two weeks ago. Ridgelawn Cemetery today. It is an improvement. <laughs> Frida Black is happy she can finally visit her parents' grave sites again. I can see her stone now. She reached out to let us know the water covering this area for weeks finally cleared. I couldn't even pull up this far before. Her daughter, Prudence, shudders. It looks 100 times different. I'm so grateful. So what changed since we first started looking into this? The owner of this property told us then it was a drainage issue, claiming there's an issue off the property. And if they have to put in new lines, that's what they're going to do. Today, the Lake County surveyor told me they worked with a contractor to inspect drains in the area for blockage. He says obstructions were found in the private drain on this property and another private property. They were able to open portions of the drain while inspecting, but according to the office, obstructions still exist. I don't ever want to see these graves underwater again. It breaks my heart. So this area isn't in the clear yet. This is a problem that needs to be addressed totally, you know. There's a hearing set for July 15th with the Lake County Drainage Board to determine who's responsible for the remaining drain issues and who will pay for the fix. The county surveyor can't comment on fault, but told me that hearing next month should determine exactly what needs to be done here to make sure that flooding never happens again. Reporting in Gary, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.